Mm. Yeah. So, By the way, yeah. Victoria Carlson has uh, texted me here uh, her um, Skype number. We will call her later. Oh, what do you think good. about the match and uh, and Tatiana Faria from Brazil, uh, the upcoming WAL 505? Yeah. It's, I think, I, so I've done a few reviews on the match so far, and I've picked, uh, I've picked Victoria, I've picked Becky to win, but I think, you know, I, I really want her to win, um, I know her a lot better, um, I know that Tatiana did beat her the last time. And they were both like in an open top roll, really, like, I, it was very close. Very, if she had just walked her hand over, it would have been, the match would have looked totally different. And I know, so didn't Erica pull Tatiana last year? Yes. And Tatiana kind of killed her, right? Yeah. And, and Victoria and Erica are kind of close, right? Kind of close? I'm not sure. I haven't seen them pull for a while. Um, I don't. I yeah. Mm. So yeah. the thing is, is I think that so the match where she walked over was in it wasn't in the straps, and I'm pretty sure that they will be in the straps for this one. Uh, I, I think it's I, I really think Victoria's going to win. I really do. I I, I think that. I think that uh, Tatiana is probably a bit faster and maybe, I think maybe a tiny bit stronger, maybe, but I, I don't know. I just really think Victoria is going to outlast her and I think she's going to come back and win. I, I don't know, maybe maybe 3-2, maybe 3-1. But... Like Mia always uh, asks, and she asked this when I picked you for your fight, which I I was mm. right on <laughs> that he would win. Anyway, yeah. and... Um, do you say this because you know Victoria better, or do you say that because you think that she will beat her? Yeah, I'm a little bit maybe guilty on this one. Maybe a little bit. Like, uh, you can't help but kind of be a little bit biased when you really know the one person and don't know the other one quite as much. I know Tatiana is a great arm wrestler. I've, I've watched her a lot. Um, I don't know. I just... Maybe I'm getting confused with who I want to win and who I think is going to win. On, on paper, everything suggests Tatiana wins, right? She's got the winning record. Um, she's beat people that I think that uh, Victoria is comparable to, but I just can't help but root for Vicky and, Vicky and think she's going to win. I, I don't know. I just, I really believe that she's going to, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a nail biter. I think she's going to turn it around. Um, I think it's going to be three, two. I do. I think it's going to be a great match. Um, we know that both of them can pull long and hard. So yeah, I'm hoping for a screamer. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. Do you think uh, Tati will win the first match? Or I do. do you think yeah. I do kind of lean towards her getting out of the gates a bit quicker. I think, I don't know what's going on in Brazil, but I feel like most of the top Brazilian arm wrestlers are all very explosive. Um, and I think that she probably will get out of the gates fairly quickly. But I think that... Uh, Vicky's got more experience in the WAL system now. I think she's fresh off of a great fight with Nancy Locke. And I think that she probably learned a lot from that match, just, you know, being being in the environment. Um, yeah, I think, um, I think that match stops in any kind of good position. And I think she'll just reel her in just a little bit. Because sometimes when you, when you do those fast starts and... You're going for that pin and you don't get it, that'll get you in trouble, you know. And I think that Victoria plays much of a longer game. I think yeah. that she's not really hitting for the pin normally. She, she's a positional arm wrestler, so uh, I think she's going to get it. I do. I think it's going to be 3-2. It's going to be an awesome match. I think uh, Tatiana has uh, taller forearms. Mm -hmm. and which I'm scared of because uh, Victoria always ends up losing her wrist a little bit. Yeah. I know 
that she has been training a lot for this match now, and as yeah. you see, she's used to WAL rules, and uh, she has uh, her second match there was much better than her first. Mm -hmm. uh, she pulled better. She was more there mentally, I think. So that talks for Victoria. Uh, I also hope that Tatiana is not so fast because then I think that that Victoria can lose. But if Victoria just can hold her a little bit and, as you say, just get some position and go in and tire Tatiana out, yeah. then I think, uh, uh, yeah, she uh, should win. But and I think <laughs> in the straps, the long arm doesn't matter quite as much. Yeah. We will yeah. see. It will be yeah. very, very interesting. What do you say, Fia? Who's that behind you? This is Vida, my son. Hey, buddy. Hi, Vida. Hey, Vida. Hey. <laughs> he looks so much like you. <laughs> he doesn't want to be this show. Nice okay. poster back there. A nice poster. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. I also think that Vicky will uh, uh, back to the match. <laughs> uh, I think she have she knows what she has to train, uh, and she have watched these matches over and over again, and she knows she loses her wrist. So I think her main training have been to not lose the wrist and the the pronation in her wrist, and to be able to to uh, keep that. Uh, and not lose it. And also, she's not afraid of long fights. She's yeah. almost every match is is uh, long. So I have a question for you two. That. I think the difference. Hi, hi, Fia. Hi, hi. hi. hi Malin. Hey, Vicky. So we're here to. Can we see your back of your T-shirt, Fia? What does this mean? Does it mean that she shares for her your opponent? Not, not cool, Fia. Not cool. <laughs> this is super but, uh, cool. Look at me. I love you, Malin. Yeah, <laughs> love you too. <laughs> so you feel today strong we have... when you see me in this one. You feel like you want to hit me or something. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I want to hit you. We have uh, Victoria Carlson here, uh, also called Vicky. We will talk to her about her upcoming match against Tatiana Faria from Brazil. So it's the 14th of August you will uh, pull this uh, match, right, Vicky? 15. 15. Yes. Okay. How uh, how is the weight? It's okay. I a little bit too heavy, but it's okay. What, what weight limit is it? Uh, for you? What 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 weight uh, can you? What's the weight limit for you? Uh, Sixty three kilos. Okay. So what do you weigh right now? Uh, around sixty five. Oh, you look uh, small anyway, in the face, not your body. You look strong. I know. I'm, uh, I'm really small right now. I don't know what's happening with my body. <laughs> Maybe it's I just... Short. You are super good at dieting. Uh, you are always... When we, when we are on the same competitions, you're always the calmest one. But still, you got a few kilos... A couple of days before the weigh-ins. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I I know my body when it comes to the weigh-ins and how how I can drop the last kilos. Yeah. So what do you do the day before, for an example? Uh, uh, often I have to uh, drop some water, so. Uh, the day before weigh-in, I cut all the salt and drink a lot of water, and and the body wash, washes through like you just yeah. cut all the water uh, after you have uh, drunk uh, five liters of water, maybe. Yeah. So the day after you wake up and it's you're dry. 
Yeah, you actually taught me that, and uh, I did that something close to it at WAL 504. Uh, I weighed two kilos more the day before, right, Fia? And then I cut the salt, and I, but I ate a salad, but it was just like tomato, I don't know, onion and cucumber and lettuce in that one. And then I didn't eat much. So, uh, and then I weighed, I weighed the 70.5 when I woke up. So it really was, yeah, thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So, um, yeah, Fia, I can see your face. <laughs> uh, so you're going to meet Tatiana. Yes. How do you feel? Uh, it feels good. I feel calm uh, and strong. Uh, I wanted to have this match because, uh, as you know, I have lost against her before. And uh, I really want some revenge now. <laughs> so this is your dream match, is it? Yeah, and when it's best of five, I have one. I have a lot of uh, chances. So if I lose my first, I... I can do something else and come back. What do you have? What have you trained different? Or what, what have you have in focus for this match? And and uh, that it won't happen uh, at the last match that you lose uh, your I, hand against her. Yeah, I have had a lot of uh, table time. Uh, uh, I have been at the table a few times per week, week and uh, trained just with the wrist and uh, the grip uh, so I can get better grip and not lose my wrist. So we're going to show you uh, the last video of your match. It's coming here. match um you were pretty equal but i think uh, yeah i think that you were pretty equal but then you lost your angle and also a little bit your wrist but you have trained uh, so that it won't happen again yes i have changed my grip uh, so i i, I take uh, my grip uh, different now from them and Don't i've trained it a lot it's now don't tell her any secrets now. She's going to no, watch no, this no. more. <laughs> I, I just said uh, I changed my grip. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, do you feel stronger now than last year? Because that um, uh, film was from the world's uh, 2018, right? Yes, it was. Uh, yes, I feel a lot stronger. And I have no issues in my elbow or my shoulder uh, i have had that in my right arm uh, a couple of times now so it feels good to uh, not have pain perfect this is going to be a really interesting match our favorite match so far uh, i we have talked about your match a few times me and fia also uh, with the secret guest uh, that you all going to see who that is in a while. Uh, but yeah, that's like, it was so close one year ago. Now you, ha you know exactly how you should train. You have trained, you're stronger. You um, also are used to the WAL rules and the atmosphere there. Do you think that you have an advantage because you have been there before? 
Yes, I really think that. Uh, because when I was there my first time, I didn't know what's going on at all. So last time when I met Nancy, I, I used the rules to my advantage. Yeah, you really did uh, against Nancy. Did you get any reactions after? Because when you and Nancy were pulling, you sometimes, um, uh, she, f was it her sh who fouled out and you let her yeah. win? Yes. So that the match would restart and then you restarted and finally she got tired and you won. Yeah. Did people say anything about that afterwards? Yes, I, I, have, I had a lot of comments about... Uh, that she had pinned me a lot of times and she if she didn't fall so much she had won but i only let her go because i get a restart and don't get tired in my arm so <laughs> yeah so you were smart about it and you used the system yeah, yeah but i mean exactly. if, if you could if you know arm wrestling or if you saw that match i think that it was very obvious that you did that for us at least or for me i don't know what you say fia about that match yeah 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 i think it was really smart yeah like uh, and we talked uh, to another person uh, or we talked to devon lorette earlier um some time ago and uh, he was also talking about using rules uh, using the rules not just I mean, using everything that you can do, do fouls, do uh, uh, talk to the referee if you want to, to get an advantage, do whatever you can to win, as long as you don't, I mean, if you do something wrong, then you get a foul. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys have also trained, right? You and Fia recently? Yeah. Yeah. Not at the table, but in the gym. Was it at a gym? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's also uh, something. You changed a lot of things uh, this year. O yeah. Almost your entire life is changed. You yes. move and yes. uh, you train different. And um, because you you had a, a time in the like, I, I don't really remember when, but you had a time when you do didn't feel like training. You didn't feel that good yeah. for training. And you wanted to do something different. What has changed now and what do you feel about training and what do you train now? Uh, it was after Slottitor. I had pain in my elbow and my left shoulder so i couldn't arm wrestle at all so it hurt everything hurt it did hurt when i was at the gym so i had no motivation and just uh, i just went to the gym and yeah, didn't do so much then home again and after a while uh, I met uh, uh, Kevin, uh, he's my boyfriend now, and we <laughs> live together. <laughs> and he trains CrossFit. Uh, so he got me into CrossFit. So the last couple of months I have trained CrossFit. And arm wrestling. How can, how can you feel that CrossFit... Uh, how, how can you develop in CrossFit uh, for arm wrestling, or um, can you use the training in CrossFit to feel stronger at the table and in your table training? Yes, because I feel uh, with the CrossFit, uh, I get uh, better wrists uh, and I get stronger in everything, so my whole body gets stronger. Uh, and I get I get faster. So with the CrossFit, I train a lot of uh, fast. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, Explosivity. Yeah, exactly. So I feel I'm have been more explosive this past month. Awesome. 
it will be very interesting uh, to to watch you and see how much uh, you have changed since uh, last year when I saw you against her. But as you said, you have five shots on, on her. Uh, so if you would lose the first uh, match, which I hope you don't, uh, then uh, then you have four more times to go. And you are a person that really have a good endurance, like. If somebody is explosive, yeah, the first time maybe, and then the second time you you uh, gain position and you can really really stop that person. And even if you then lose slowly, the next time you're still strong and still you know goes hundred percent. So this will be fun to see uh, how you will beat beat her. But uh, I don't know if I have ever seen a fast match with you, it's always like the really war at the table so yeah. it's uh, it's gonna be i hope it's gonna be a really great matches i uh i can say one thing with the endurance uh you know at the, the swedish national i had a match with carolina petterson and i hope my match against tatiana not be like that because <laughs> I didn't have much endurance at all. <laughs> well, uh, the match after I couldn't close my hand. It was too tough. Yeah, that was a great match, though. So you did have endurance during that match. Like uh, it was a, a war, and so uh, yeah, it's like if you would have that match in WAL, you would for sure win the match of the day. Yeah that's, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So, what are are you exciting? Excited of going uh, going over there? Yeah, really excited. Uh, feels so good. Uh, and afterwards, we're taking some vacation in New York. So mm -hmm. we're doing the best of it. So, who is uh, going to be in your corner? Uh, Kevin. Kevin, <laughs> does he arm wrestle now? Uh, no, he think it's fun to train with me, but he don't, don't like arm wrestling. So uh, to, he don't like to uh, train arm wrestling with others. Oh, okay. But he he's, he's a good supporter and he stands with the table with me and I can grip up with him and yeah, he he getting stronger in it too. So it's really funny. But uh, one question for you about that, because when you pull, you're really, really focused. I mean, if I was to stand in your corner, I would be very quiet if you didn't say anything. Like, because you, you are very, very focused. Do you feel like when he um, helps you, because he was in your corner against Nancy, right? Uh, do you feel that you get the support for him from him or... Yes, uh, he, he said to me earlier today that uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if I want to stand in your corner because I don't know anything about arm wrestling. But I said to him that that's the best thing you can do because you can't tell me under the match that do this or do that or something like this because I'm so focused so I can't change it like now and then. So I said to him that I, I love that you're in my corner and you do exactly what I say and, and just keep me going and say things to me like you're stronger than her or, or just, just uh, small things that it's good to hear. Yeah, and to have your loved one uh, in the corner, I guess that they don't have to say much. They can be there and be present and share yeah. for you if you win and be there for you if you would lose which yeah. you won't <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, it will be a really really good match to to see who do you think after this match who would you like to meet again or not again but who would you like to meet i don't really know uh because uh, wal only have right ma arm matches and i uh, I want to meet some people in left arm. <laughs> yeah. I want because... to uh, win over Lucia Debnarova uh, in left arm. That had been 
so great. Yeah. And because I'm so close. Uh, last time I was so close. So, yeah. I want to have some left arm matches. There's many people saying that. Uh, I talked to Niklas Nannestad the other day. Uh, and he said that too. That, oh, too bad that WAL doesn't have left arm matches. Because he felt uh, uh, better with his left right now. Um, yeah. Yeah. But um, what else was I going to uh, ask you? Do you have any questions, Fia, that you have left? Um, yeah. What is your favorite exercise? Oh, favorite. Uh, I, I really like cleans right now. Uh, you know, explosivity and legs and... I'm getting stronger in it, and it's so much fun. <laughs> yeah. I've seen you do them uh, on your videos. Uh, you yeah. really uh, do them very, very nicely, I think. Uh, Thank you. It looks good. Did you see our video today when I lift, picked you up and walked with you? <laughs> yeah, <I saw> it. <laughs> Good times. That's my favorite exercise. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, that's my favorite exercise too. It's really fun. Is there something that you want to uh, to uh, say to Tatiana? Uh, see you there, and uh, may the best woman win. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> my time. I know it's my time. That's cool. It will be awesome to to see you guys pull, and it will be a great match. We have to uh, stay up for that one, Fia. We have to do that, yeah. Yeah. Maybe so, yeah. send some live stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. We would, uh, yeah, try to uh, send it live and talk about the match, you and me, uh, if we can figure out how uh, to do that. How to do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are not... Use? recorded <laughs> yeah otherwise we record it and maybe chat with people or something yeah, yeah but uh Vic, best of luck to you uh, i said this earlier but we have a really good uh, relationship to to the girls from brazil uh, so they are lovely people and lovely girls but uh, uh yeah we share for you and uh, may the swedish force be there be with uh, you. And Maybe we, you can have some nail polish too. Nail, heard about that. Yes, good that you said that because we have nail polish that we are going to give out to somebody uh, that can uh, figure out who will uh, win and with how much. Um, wait, I have it here. <laughs> Bathroom. Anyway. You can win this, not you, Vicky. The people that are watching can win this. Uh, we used it at WAL five oh four. Devon Lorette, uh, even uh, yeah, yeah, and also Ryan Bowen used it. And uh, so, if you can guess who will win and with how much, and you get the right number then you can uh, be the one that wins the, the, the nail polish. So what do you think, uh, Vicky? How much will you win with? Uh, I hope uh, I can win with 4-1, but uh, I think it's going to be 3-2. Three, three. I think it's going to be tough. I think it's going to be really tough. Yeah. But you can do it. If you are there mentally and, uh, yeah, you have trained right and you breathe and you don't do anything too risky in the beginning and stay focused, I know that you can do it. Yeah. And calm. Stay calm. Have fun. Yes. I will. Thank you, Vicky, for taking the time uh, to be in this interview with us. Uh, we will sure talk to you after this too. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Good luck, Vicky. Bye. Thank you.